Welcome back to the channel. So scores have officially dropped for round six. Um, I got 1,108, top 30%. Terrible, pretty much terrible. My captain choice this week just was not good. I should have gone Cleary, should have VC'd Cleary, but I didn't, I VC'd um, Brian Tuo, thinking he would get a big score, but it was Cleary that got the big score. And then I ended up captaining Cody Walker, who just didn't go that great. Um, so I'm in the top 27%, so I'm stuck at this level. I need to make some trades to get some more pods in that can boost me up. Give me a boost. All right, we'll check out the scores that I got. Um, so once again, Damian Cook kind of underperforming compared to other hookers. Um, we've got Connor Watson, who's going pretty good. Um, Junior Paulo, I think two weeks in a row now, he has gone... He's got 37 the week before this and 39. Like, playing similar amounts of minutes. Like, 58 minutes the first week, he got 100. 58 the next, 84. 55 last week, 37. 50 this week, 39. So, I think Junior Paulo, for me, could be a trade. He has lost 50 grand. I think this week it's time for Junior Paulo to go, which is, I don't like doing it because... He's actually been in my team the last few seasons. But I think his role's changed in the team. He's more of a ball-playing front row now. He goes to the line and offloads. So he's just not getting the tackle bus that he, that he had, that you're used to getting from him. Um, so I got Lindsay Collins. He played, which is great. 58, minute, 58 points from 44 minutes coming off the bench. Um, but... It looks like he's definitely going to get more minutes because TKO and Hargraves are both injured. So he's going to start next week, which means upwards of 62 minutes. Um, so I'm happy that he's in the team. Um, so Junior Polo's out. Collins is in, staying. Stefano's staying because I'm pretty sure he has the bye at 5.13. Brian James still in the team. Tohu Harris going great guns. 12% of teams. Um, fantastic. Crichton, 50, going okay. So I kept Isaiah Yo, 66 points. He is in 8% of teams, so a bit of a pot, I guess. Barnett, 106. So people who sold him, well, he's still in 20% of teams. Went fantastic. I, I got on Teague Wilton um, before he went up in price, so I got him after two games. So he's making great money 122k already next week is break even 17 if he plays he'll go up but wade graham might be coming back into the team so tomorrow teams list tuesday i'm gonna have to check out to see if he is playing if he's not playing he's a sell for me but if he's playing i'm keeping him for another week and he'll go up to 400k easy i'm a board into i'm a trades last week i did a reversal I actually did bring in Isaiah Yo. I mean, David Fafita. I traded out Isaiah Yo and Jordan Ricky to get Fafita, and I got Topine and Fafita. Um, but it was just too much money, and I didn't want to get rid of Isaiah Yo. Like, getting rid of a, a quality player to get Fafita, I just couldn't do it. So I actually reversed my trades. I got rid of Jordan Ricky. Brought in Topine and got rid of Tessie New and brought in Bradman Best, who I thought was going to go really good because he had got a 56 in his first game and a 95 in the second, but he only got 39 points. But if you look at the scorers in that game on that left edge, Kalen Ponga got like 150 or something like that, and Mitchell Barnett got 106. So that left edge with Callum Ponga, Bradman Best, is a certainty to get some points. He's only owned in 6% of teams, so I'm hoping over the next couple of weeks he gets me some money. Um, so I didn't captain Cleary, who got 125. I captain Walker, who got 58. So right there, that's the gap between the top 
5, 10 percent of people and me back in the 30 percent. So double 125, that's 250. An extra 150 points I lost from that. Um, Brian T.O. Yep, one good. Laurie, best, no. Simon said you had a head injury. Tedesco, 40. Schuster, 93. How many people are on Schuster? 30% of teams. Yeah, and Sam Walker. So, all in all, Damian Cook, look, Origin's going to come. I'm going to have, I think Connor Watson is actually playing around 13, is he? Yeah, he is. That's good. So, I could keep Cook, play Watson until then. But the problem is Jake Simpson. It could be a trade next week. So Watson could be going out of my team next week. Simpson got 56, played 80, played the whole game. Um, so my trades this week. I'm looking at trading out Junior Paulo. And I'm going to click on Average. And the person I'm going to get in is Luke Thompson. Um, Josh Jackson is still a couple of weeks away from returning, I think. And Hetherington looks like he could be gone for a couple of weeks. Um, Thompson, I'm pretty sure, played 50 minutes. Let's have a look. 50 minutes, 56. So with those two guys out, he could get a few more minutes. Even at 56 minutes, he's, his points per minute are pretty good. Like I'm happy for him to be getting 65s. He didn't have any um, 33 tackles, hit ups. So his base stats are really good. I think that is who I'm going to trade in instead of um, Jim Paulo, which could be a bit sideways, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get on it. I tell you who the trade is that I actually said a couple of weeks ago who I couldn't get into my team was Isaiah Papali. I believe he is absolutely going great guns with uh, Madison out. So we got Thompson, Ryan James hopefully plays. So my thing this week for Teams List Tuesday we'll be seeing who is playing. Like, do I you trade out Teddy? Break even 151. There's no way he's going to get it. He's going down another 62k. Tommy Turbo. Get Tommy Turbo in early. Get Callum Ponger in early. Let's have a look. Let's just look at it. Just for a second. Let's just have a look. Let's go to, we've got averages up. Tommy Turbo, 1% of teams. So Pappenhausen, 51, who's got an injury, does he? Look how much money he's made. Bang. Okay, so Ponga, Mitchell was out for a couple of weeks. There's so many good options at fullback, but everyone has just gone to Desco, Pappenhausen, or, or Trell Pappenhausen. There's no one else on anything, anything other than that, really. So maybe that's the way to move up. It could be. All right, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to I'm going to risk it, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go. To, what's the? It's either Ponga or Tavojevic. It's got to be Turbo because he's cheaper by a hundred k, and. I think Kalen, oh, Kalen's the playmaker though in that team now, isn't he? He really appears out. Two try assists and a try. Oh, Jesus. Kalen or Turbo. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, Roger. Roger flying under the radar. There's no one really here who is actually playing um, round 13. I think Matt Dufty might be. I think Dragons are. But I don't really want to go here because 
No. So, what do we do? We just go, look, look Tedesco, Anzac Day, sure, he could go huge, absolutely huge. Turbo could get injured next week. That's what happened to me last year. I traded him in and he didn't even last 30 minutes and he was injured. But he's in 1% of teams, 1%. So one of these, I've got to get one of these guys in to make a break. And that's hoping that Tedesco gets another 40. He's going to lose money. I know, trading sideways. Sure, he got big, he went a big massive against Manly, massive against Tigers. But since then... Okay. Any, many, mighty, mo. Look, leave a comment down below, and um, I will take everyone's opinion on this. Um, no, it's super risky. But who do you think? If I go turbo, I've got an extra 100k for next week's trade when I possibly get rid of Watson. To get Simkin in and then use money to upgrade Simonson to Nofaluma or someone like that. So that is the long term plan. Obviously, Turbo isn't really a long term plan because he's going to be injured like straight away. Or do we go Will, Ke Will Kennedy? 1% of the teams. The Cronulla play round 13. I don't know if they do. No, they don't, so he's not an option. Dewey. There's, there's really no one that I want. But all of these top players are going to be in origin. Except for Roger, but he does not play round 13. Roger. Alright, we'll just go turbo against the Tigers. Yeah? Why not? Stupid move. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Stupid. I, I don't like it already. Kalen's the one to go for. Surely. Yeah, Kalen's going to make money. He's got that 160 three in there for the next price rise the next two price rises playing Penrith though and then Roosters Penrith and Roosters then Canberra oh man why look I don't even know if I can do this right now I'm not going to do that right now alright but Thompson's coming in for Polo Leave a comment down below what you think I should do. What you think I should do. Like, I'm so torn. Like, Tedesco's going to lose money. Um, sure, he's a keeper, but he's out for origin. Uh, I don't know. Alright, I really don't know. So. Wow. What a week. I'm going to keep Walker and Schuster. Um, captain choice will probably be um, Panthers. Well, Cleary is a, a great option. You just stick it on Nathan Cleary. I could always just go to V on Cleary. Yeah, suddenly. Alright, I'm so confused. Alright, well thank you for watching this video. Leave a comment down below what you think I should do with this Tedesco trade. If it's a good idea, if it's a terrible idea. Yep, I have no, I have no idea. Alright, maybe I'm trade happy, trigger happy. Alright, well leave a comment, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.